And the other thing that's probably worth pointing out with the i3 is the speed. So yeah, so it's quite quick. Alexa, open drive now. Welcome to drive now. The closest vehicle is Alvis, a mini convertible. I can reserve the car for you now or I can search for a different car. What would you like to do? Search for BMW i3. The next vehicle is Amir. What would you like to do? Uh, reserve the car for me. Amir is reserved for 15 minutes and is waiting for you. Hello car friends and good morning. I'm going to be trying out something called drive now. I'm quite interested in this idea that you don't actually have to own a car and that in the future cars will be sort of rented. Like this whole car sharing concept. Oh, by the way, I've got a um, Little Miss Giggles cup. That's what happens when you live with three girls. There's all these things I wanted to know, so those, uh, low, low, let's, let us, let's, low, let's, let's go. So basically, I've reserved the car, it goes for 15 minutes, and that allows me to, during that time, get there, obviously, because I've got to walk from my home to here. I can also enter where I'm going, so I can adjust there. There, just there. Enter that in, save it. Aha, so I've seen the car, it's just here. Just click unlock. Uh, and you can see the car's now unlocked, so hopefully, all being well, I can just jump in. How exciting is this? I'm going to show you sort of how it works in terms of when you get in because it's really quick. So there's a dial that's down here. It's basically connected to this here. And it says my name, so it knows that I'm here. Probably going to enter, ask me for a password and then enter my pin. Okay, so that was basically my pin. It's immaculate. That's my bag there. It doesn't come with a bag and it doesn't come with a GoPro. Just so you know, I've obviously fitted that. I'm going to say it's very clean and then it's free of damage. So if there's anything like, I don't know, if this steering wheel wasn't here, then I would go down and report the damage. So I would like to, in this instance, book three hours because it works out slightly cheaper. Start rental, and then basically, it's good to go. Put your foot down on the brake, uh, and then you push this button here, and stuff happens. It's already got my destination in here, so do you remember from before, when I entered it on the app, so it's already loaded it. Of all the sort of um, usual sort of sat-navs that you get in cars, the BMW one I struggle with more than most. Uh, I think it's improving, definitely. But when you compare it to like Tesla, who's using Google Maps all the while, I mean, obviously they're not, they're not gonna be competing. So the fact that you can pre-plan everything in the Drive Now app has made it really easy for me because I like using my phone and that just feels easier. It's not to say that the sat nav is unusable it's not it's just easier to use the drive now app and enter your destination if that makes sense anyway i'm rambling i'm probably gonna go and grab a coffee on route i've got an hour or so to get to the meeting which doesn't look to be that far away okay so whilst this video isn't about the i8 i do want to talk about it a little bit first thing you notice is the silence it's not making a noise the second thing that i notice is that it's the it's the braking as soon as you take your foot off the accelerator you start to break straight away which i always find quite different let's just say different like i've stopped now just by taking my foot off the accelerator i've still not touched the brake even as someone that gets in electric cars often it takes me probably two to five minutes to get used to the fact that it really is just controlled by the accelerator and the steering wheel. And the other thing that's probably worth pointing out with the i3 is the speed. So yeah, so it's quite quick and I've been in Ferraris recently, so that's saying something. minutes to go before my meeting so I'm gonna grab a coffee now the key thing with drive now is I can park it in any space so if you take a look you should be able to see there you go that it's actually a residence only sort of parking permit parking blah, permit holders only space I can park in this space 
um, for free and all I have to do is log it on the app. But if I want to use this because I am just going for coffee and I don't want it to leave before I get back, then all I have to do is literally on here is just go down to park and keep and, and it's good. Press lock and the car has locked. I actually stayed for lunch because it was, I mean, I don't need to go anywhere, right? The car's parts, I've got it, it's fine. I also have one interesting fact to share with you. I mean, I've got lots of interesting facts, but this one's quite interesting. For every car, like a car sharing car that's put onto the road, 11 privately owned cars come off. That's insane. It shows that we're basically 11 times inefficient, like a 1,100% inefficient. That's huge. So that's it. Basically, I was a little bit late, or I am a little bit late for my meeting now, but I have parked, again, in a residence spot, because I'm allowed to, so permit holders only spot here in Shoreditch, and now we can just get out and leave the car. This isn't a paid thing, I'm not getting paid to promote it, I just think that car sharing should be a bit more popular than it is. I also think the councils should sort of get together and embrace it a bit more, because I get the feeling you can't really expand over the whole of London because the council just are too slow to talk. That's my general feeling. If you want to give this a go and you're sort of in the London area or you're in, I think it's Berlin, maybe Paris. I'll put a full list of places that Drive Nights available in the description. But if you want to give it a go, down below there is a link where you can get like unlimited, I think it's a lifetime membership for Drive Now and 30 minutes free driving. So basically, if you want to give it a go and you think like, I don't want to, catch the tube today or I don't want to like get on the bus and I want to actually get directly to where I'm going uh, click on the link uh, it's all in there and then you'll get 30 minutes so if your journey is 30 minutes long you're basically getting a free journey and you don't have to pay for parking and you don't have to pay TFL win easy so that's basically an overview of car sharing and what car sharing is about uh, I've basically dumped it there and it's all legal and it just seems like it's really wrong but actually it's really right <laughs> because it means there's less cars on the road, it's cleaner, it's more efficient, it's completely right. Anyway, I've talked about car sharing like a hippie all day. Thank you guys again. Uh, give this video a Anyway, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't done already. And I will see you next week.